We're going to use a checkbox on code.org in App Lab to make an image appear or disappear. So what we're going to do is first in design mode, we're going to grab a checkbox, put it over here, and it's really small, so I'm going to make it really enormous. And since I've only got one, I'll just leave its ID as checkbox. And then we're going to have an image that spans the entire rest of the screen. Trying to grab that little corner and expand. There we go. And I want the checkbox to not be hidden, so I'm going to come down here in the images properties and make it behind. So the checkbox will always be on top. Now if you run this, the image is blank, but the checkbox already works, just sort of by default. Alright, so now we need to choose an image. I'm going to give that the ID image since I only have one. And now I need to go find it, and what I want is actually a, an animated GIF. My favorite animated GIF is this dancing woman right here. It just makes me so happy. So I'll go ahead and save that to the desktop. And actually already have it there. And then back in App Lab, I need to upload that file. And choose it. So now I've got my dancing lady in my app. And if I run, she shows up and the checkbox is on top of her. Alright, so the goal of this little app is going to be when I check the box, she shows up. And when I uncheck the box, she disappears. So I'm going to set her default status in the images settings as hidden. So you can see that she's still there, but she's sort of lightened out. And when I run the app, she's completely gone. So she's not showing up yet because we haven't written any code. We'll do that now. So first, I want to make a variable called is it checked? And then I want to grab an on event block and say if our checkbox uh, changes, then we want to give that variable is it checked a value. So notice I only use var the first time, so here I'm going to say is it checked is going to be equal to the status of this checkbox. And the way that I write the status of this checkbox is a get checked. And then you have to put the ID of the checkbox, which if you hover over you'll remember it's just called checkbox. Alright, so whenever I click on the checkbox, it's going to uh, give this variable, is it checked, the value. And just so we can see what that looks like, let's do a console log. And in the console log we'll just put that variable, is it checked. And we'll hit run. And now when I click check, it says true down here in the console log. And when I uncheck, it says false. So we know that our variable is working. So now all we have to do is say if is it checked is true, then want to you could either do a set property here or you could do a show element which is what I'm going to do I want to show my image but else I want to hide my image so once again we're going to make a variable called is it checked every time we click the checkbox it's going to give it the value of the checkbox and if that value is true, it will show the image. And if that value is false, then it will hide the image. And it looks like it works.